What is going on guys? You can see it is absolutely pouring down rain. Me and Em are actually headed to our local card store, which is gonna be called Hidden Block Games. If you've been here before, you've definitely seen a video about them. They have actually opened up a brand new store, so we're super excited to see it. I got some bulk in the back, we're gonna trade in and get some cool stuff. So let's make a trip there and let's be super safe about it. 15 minutes later. It's so nasty out here. We're here though. We're here, but it's nasty. So the store says Code Ninjas. That's what it says, but that's not what it is. All right, so we just got in to hit block games. It's absolutely crazy. It's busy as all get out. I'm loving it though. There's so much cool stuff. So much paper. I don't know where they're hiding all this stuff <laughs> <laughs> because it's nuts. In the back. And yeah, I guess in the back that they never showed off. They had pages and pages filled with trainer gallery cards. It was insane to see this in there. I mean, just so many. Page after page after page filled. Then the shinies, the baby shinies. Then right after the full art shinies came. It was insane. So many shiny Pokemon. It was nuts. Absolutely nuts. I love to see all these. And then a whole page of just Cramorants. Come on. More baby shinies. More baby shinies. It was absolutely crazy to see. And then we got the vintage binder over here which we actually saw at the first page, had to pull out the Snorlax because I definitely needed it for the binder. Going past, we've got uh, some more cool stuff on this one here. But then I also was able to see that I needed something on the page behind it, which was the Zapdos right here. This one we definitely needed for our fossil binder. And then we also saw on the next page, we saw a Lapras, which was absolutely needed for our binder too, fossil style. And right beside it was actually a Moltres that was needed too. Then I saw on the next page, there was an Articuno that we actually needed for our binder too. And right on the same page was also the Aerodactyl. Hitmon Lee that we needed for it as well. Lieutenant Surgeon's Pikachu at the end, but that was pretty Pretty much it they had a few other things from rocket but we already had a lot of that stuff so we actually went back to the front going through we picked up the hollow magneton still needed it we also picked up the non hollow haunter the pincer as well and then the pidgeot from jungle 2. so i'd say that was a pretty good finds and then leaving they had an amazing selection of games absolutely insane old school ds's it was just nuts to see and then their selection behind the counter was also crazy too just so you guys know they were actually able to take our trades we weren't able to stay because it was going to take too long but we we're going to get some store credit and maybe pick up something that's in this thing right here. Sabrina's Gengar looking insane too with that Raichu. And then we had to go back and get this Needle Queen. Still need it. As we were leaving, they had a fridge full of these anime sodas that I love. The One Pieces, M love the Sailor Moons, as well as the Digimon down below. Gotta love that. And then the Vegeta. All right, so we are all done at Hidden Block Games. Absolutely amazing opening. We even got a cookie that they threw in our bags. I can't wait to eat that up. But we're gonna go back to the cave and do some binder love action, slicing those cards into my old school binder because that just feels so nice. Five minutes later. And we are back. We got the binder. We got the cards. Let's put these things together. Okay, here it is. So this is my vintage binder. I've actually got the first four sets are going to be in here. We've got base set, which you guys know we did complete at Card Party. Shout out to Card Party 2, by the way. Gen 2 in Orlando. Hope everybody can join us for that. It's going to be insane. Let's go ahead and keep flipping, keep flipping. Now we're in our jungle set. I know we got three cards to add that we found today to our jungle binder. So let's go ahead and keep flipping right here. Pidgeot is going to be our first up and going to be going in that slot right there. And then up next is going to be the Pinsir, and he's going to be going in that slot right about 
there. There we go. Always sleeve all your cards whenever you're putting them in binders. This can be number 27. This one actually goes right here to almost semi-complete that page right there. So that's all for our jungle. Keep flipping through just to show off the jungle binder just a little bit. We are still trying to complete this thing. We got a lot still to get for Fossil and a huge amount to get for Team Rocket. So let's go ahead. We got our Zapdos right here. He's going to be number 15, so I know he's going to be on the second page. And he goes right beside the right shoe. So let's go ahead and slide him in. Got Moltres right there. I'm loving it. Then we got our Magneton Hollow. He's going right in between Lapras and Moltres. Then we got a few of our non-hollows to put in here. You got Aerodactyl. It should be the first one. He's going to be number 16 so he actually goes right beside this articuno over here the non-hollow version of that let's go ahead and slide him in very safely lapras is going to be next up going in this empty slot right here beside the magneton obviously because lapras magneton going to be the same way lapras magneton and we cannot forget right now haunter going right behind the gengar in the very top right so we actually did complete that page which is awesome and this one too so i'm very happy about that as well the quest continues to complete the first four sets y'all have a great day make sure you click on this video though if you want to continue the hunting fun but as always from me to you happy hunting